Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Chrono Cross. So we just got access to this room, and apparently Lynx is supposed to be in here, because of course he like stole the body in the frozen flame, so I, I don't know. I think we're gonna have a cool boss fight here, so let's keep going. Uh, where are we? Is that the frozen flame? Indeed. Exa exactly. Question mark. That is indeed the frozen flame. Or, I, th I think so. But yeah. Music. Interesting music. Kid is on the floor for kid is on the floor for some reason. The hearer of people's prayers, the provider of the richest fame and power, the bestower of eternal life, the promiser of peace and happiness. Lynx! This is the essence of what descendants from the heavens in the prius uh, the living crimson stone, the frozen flame. Spooky Lynx. What took you so long? You had me worried, worried that you might have per perished on the way here. Bro, why is kid on the ground? Are you alright? It's no use. I put her soul to sleep. I had to remove any potential obstacle from having from us having to talk. Who are you? What are you what are you after? You still don't know. I am the human incarnate of fate. Spooky. So remember how fate's like basically fate is God, controls the world. Well that is fate in basically human form. So, that sounds like a lot of fun. Living interface of the fate computer system, or put simply, I too am fate. Fourteen years ago, on the night of the terrible storm, the cogs began to turn. That night, Wazupi, Wazupi, Wazuki and Miguel set out to the sea carrying a sick young child in the boat, which is Surge. That child was you, sir. After you have been attacked by that panther demon, your poisoned wounds were beyond the healing abilities of the doctors in Terminar or even Goldove. So they set sail to Marble in order to see the sage there, not knowing how bad the storm would become. Being skilled sailors, the two men were able to survive the storm, but they were blown off course and came ashore on this island where they decided to seek shelter. At the time, this research center was offline due to the severity of the storm. It only took 10 minutes for the system to power back up, but by then, you have touched the frozen flame. Contact with the frozen with the flame healed your young body, but that was not all. Once the security card system was rebooted, it would only grant access to you. The Arbiter. So basically, we locked fate out of being fate. You can't imagine the trouble this caused the fate computer system in achieving its objective. Inside of fate, there was a standalone circuit that had been kept hidden since the old mother brain generation. That circuit was designed to start a malfunction, or more precisely, a rebellion. Who would have thought that such a small bug, a traitor, could exist inside of fate? That hidden circuit was based on the intentional ash tier model circuit board, texture logic added by another scientist. Fate itself did not realize that the circuit was, was present within the core of its system, or more correctly, the circuit was programmed so that the moment Fate did detect it, it would erase all record of its uh, findings. Dr. Luca Ashtier, unbelievably intelligent and incredibly enthusiastic, you might even go as far as to call her a mad scientist. Of course, I don't believe it was Luca alone that devised this plan. I'm sure that the first curator of this research center, a man named Balthazar, had a hand in it. So basically, Luca put a failsafe inside of Fate that if she did something crazy, there was something to fall back on so Fate didn't have complete control of the world. Fate, bring out the traitor Prometheus. Affirmative. Ah, you have finally released me. Welcome back. So you're the real Surge. I've waited a long time for you. I'm glad you made it in time. Surge, I beg you. Please bring an end to the enmity between Fate and the Dragons. Fate, eliminate him. Affirmative. Now elim eliminating Prometheus. No, you cannot. Surge, please. For the future of mankind. For the Horde? Alliance? Future. Dang it. It's not World of Warcraft. Idiot. Destruction to those who oppose the goddess of fate. Lynx, why you? Haha, -ha, come search. Alright, fam. Let's, let's do a little battle. How about that? So, that is fate. But that is the robotic fate. Show me what the purpose of your life on this planet is. Teach me what it means to be alive. So, um, last episode, when I kept calling fate a girl, I said I wasn't going to tell you why, but you're just going to see in a minute. This is what I was talking about. I mean, clearly, Fate is a female. It's kind of clear, in my opinion. But, um, that can be taken in many different ways. But, let's go ahead and, uh, beat up Fate, why don't we? So, and it's funny, a lot of people throughout this game keep looking at Fate as like, oh, like, Fate, like, what's gonna happen? No, it's actually a robot. <laughs> but it is a robot that controls everything. By the way, what color is Fate? It's black. Okay, so that's a little 
Okay, well, Grobek is black, so he's gonna do a little bit less damage than normal. That's fine. Commencing countdown, five. So, uh, that, when that countdown happens, uh, it's gonna hurt. A lot. It's gonna hurt quite a bit. You know what? Elemental damage is halved. That's fine, because we don't even do elemental damage. We're, like, a straight physical attacking team, so that's completely fine. Okay, I really gotta... Man, Surge does some damage. For We basically just have to not miss Gravitone. This is gonna hurt a little bit. It's gonna hurt Surge a little bit more than the rest. Okay, it wasn't that bad. And I'll heal in a little bit. Um, you know, we'll go back to search. Literally, whenever search can hit, we're gonna try to hit. Ugh. Man, two misses. That's really bad. Whenever search can hit, I'm gonna try to get him to hit. No! Okay, mmm. We missed a lot of shots. That was kind of bad. Heat ray. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, no. He's still alive. He is still alive. Somehow he's still alive. We're gonna go in and use the th the plus three uh, because I need to heal him to full health. That hurt like really badly, and he's still actually not at full health, but he'll be fine. Try to get some good hits in there. Go back to Orla. Nice. Get some good hits in. Two. Whew. Free fall. Okay, is it on? Okay, it's on Orla. I was like, is it on Surge again? I swear. We might... Oh, that hurt quite a bit. Man, we might just heal all again. Surge is hurt anyway. Uh, might as well get some healing up in here. I don't know how much healing that is. 180. Okay, that's not that bad. That's basically... Don't miss this time. Oh, that sucks so much. That sucks a lot, actually. Don't miss again. Dude, I'm missing out on so much damage because we keep missing. That's so bad. Let's go ahead and defend with her. Please, just go down. There we go. No, still defend. One. Ugh, what is she gonna pull out? Gravity blow. Okay, this... This shouldn't hurt too much. Especially Grobeck. He has the highest health. And he's a black innate, so it shouldn't do too much. Is she gonna hit every single one with a gravity blow? That'll hurt Surge a little. Eh, only 52. That's not that bad. But man. I love how Grobig is hitting his shots, but I really need Surge. Please hit. Good. He's missed like 11 other ones. Zero. Oh, wait. I'm not defending with Surge. He's going to be dead. Dark. Oh, no. Surge is probably going to die. Ugh. No? Is everyone alive? Everyone is alive. That is crazy. Okay, let's. Good to know. We we do have. If we, if most of us are at full health, we do survive. So that's good. Okay, so we do survive the big attack. That's basically all that matters. As long as I could keep recommencing. As long as I could keep at fairly high health at that last countdown, we're pretty much good. Okay, so Fate's attacks do a little bit. Not too much. Alright, we're gonna go back over to Surge. I really need Surge to hit his shots. Why does Surge keep missing, man? That's not good. The one character that I need not to miss always misses. Man. She, like, buffed up her, like... Her, uh, def uh agility stat or something, because dang... That is uber annoying. Let's go ahead and um, heal, I guess. Because I think some of us are kind of in the danger of dying here. And we still kind of are. Okay, come on, Surge. Please, please stop missing. Okay, two good hits. Nice. And let's use... Um, let's use Photon Beam. White should hurt fate quite a lot. I don't think it'll do way too much, but it should do... That didn't do anything. Okay, I'm not gonna even bother with that anymore. Okay. Three. 
Gotta be careful, man. We gotta be careful. Heat ray. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Who's it gonna hit? Orla. Okay, I didn't kill her. Good. We can even even cure herself. I'm not gonna use cure all. Um. You know what? Maybe we will. Let's just use heal all. We honestly have so many heals, and we're gonna defeat it before we go through every single heal, so. We're just gonna make sure to heal everybody, and Orla's still fairly low on health, but she'll be fine. Okay, that's a miss. Second miss. It's really not good, I don't... Okay, fate is low. That's good. Fate is low. Come on. Y'all have to stop missing. Two. So we're gonna have to survive one more round of... Uh, like, a big spell. Boom. So what we're gonna do... We're gonna make sure to get Orla up to, like... Oh, no. That's gonna suck. She has Cure-All. I really want her to use her Cure-All. Guess that's not happening anymore, though. She's gonna die, actually. If I don't heal her, she's gonna die. So let's use... Uh, cure plus. I don't know how much this will heal her for. Hopefully it'll heal her enough. Please be at least like 200 something. Okay, that's exactly what I needed. One. So we have one more turn. Gravity blow. Hmm. I wonder. I'm pretty sure Grobic has magnify, right? Which lowers elemental damage by half, right? I wonder. And Grobic's ability is pretty far up. I wonder. Let's just do one, two. Do we have magnify? What is this? Temporarily increase? No. I need the exact opposite. So, we do not have... We needed the other one. Yeah, we needed the other one. Hmm. Okay, well then, we're just gonna go back to Orla. Uh, no, we're gonna go back here. Man, she's still... Okay, she hit something. That's crazy. She missed. It's not a surprise. Let's go back to Surge. Let's just try to go for a three. Okay, we actually did hit it. But we're gonna get hit with a big blast here. Let's please hope this doesn't wipe us all out. It didn't wipe us out last time. It is, oh, okay, I think we all lived again. Okay, good stuff. Uh, let's go to Surge. What? Here, go to... Oh, Surge can't do anything right now. Okay. Let's make sure to heal all. Make sure she doesn't start attacking right away and do something really, really bad. Okay, that's how, that was actually a pretty good heal. We should be able to finish off Fate pretty soon here. Gotta get in some good attacks. Hmm. Is that it? Oh, it looks like that's it. Okay, cool. So, guys, the computer that controls the entire world and has been controlling us for thousands of years, we just beat in a battle. That seems crazy, don't it? We just beat the thing that basically wrote history. Nice. Let's make sure to heal all. I don't know if there's a second battle, but considering it's Chrono Cross, I wouldn't doubt that there'd be a second battle. No, how could you? I, Fate, the goddess of fate, was not meant to die. Did we just kill fate? And we Did we kill Lynx? Aha, uh -huh, where in blazes am I? Surge, what happened to me? Aha, uh -huh, that's it. What? What's it? What is it? Oh, jeez. Just climbed up there. None. Stop. Don't touch that. Do not touch it. Kid, I know the feelings you have inside of you. The urge to bring everything to nothing is now stronger than your desire to save everyone. You may want to throw yourself down the cliff of destruction, but that would be imperative. But do not drag Surge and the others down into the destruction with you. Shut up, you loony. I know what I'm doing. It's too late. There's no turning back now. 
What did she do, actually? Hopefully she didn't just kill us all. Oh. Carl's on the ground. Uh, hey, is this... Fate has fallen. By the way, you also have to remember, the only thing keeping the dragons in line was fate. Fate has fallen. Fate has died. So you know the dragons are real happy about this one. You know they're real happy. Finally, the time has come. Ugh. This doesn't look like a good sign. Indeed, the long, endless night shall finally come to an end. Now, for mankind. Ugh, I don't think for mankind. Dragons aren't too fond of them, are they? I shall make you bleed. Alright, dark dragon. Chill out, homie. You ain't fighting. And your boy, sky dragon. Feel a million years... Of this planet, agony, pain, and suffering. All right, all right, all right, all right. A cool animation. And that is what you call a Dinopolis. I think. Pretty sure it's Dinopolis. So if you guys remember, like I kept talking about the whole two world thing. Uh, in one world, I think, or something about like the reptilian, uh, they didn't really die off. They kind of took over the world. A world, you can see that in Chrono Trigger 2, there was like an existence. So basically, that is what... No, it's a Terra Tower, not Chronopolis, Dinopolis, whatever. That's basically the thing... If the, I think the reptiles would have never been wiped out. I think Terra Tower has come back to life again in the year 2040 during an during a counter time experiment. The flame goes out of control. This causes the dimensions to rip apart, resulting in the time crash engulfed in an enormous dimensional vortex. Chronopolis was hurled 10,000 years back in time. Perhaps it was the awakening Lavos who pulled the frozen flame back through time. Maybe so that Lavos who saw the possibility that some young adventurer might destroy it. Could create a backup plan. That, but that ain't all. At the same time, another city from a different dimension was also thrown back in time. Denopolis. Hey, I was talking about that. The future city of the Reptites, Azala's descendants, who have evolved more closely with the planet, just as Lavos, in an attempt to save itself, summoned Chronopolis from the distant future. Perhaps our planet beckoned to Denopolis into the past, maybe as a measure against Chronopolis and humanity. It wasn't the dragon gods who sealed up the frozen flame. It was fate. Who used the fl flame's power to divide and seal the dragons in slumber. Now that fate has been defeated, the dragon gods will join together again and start their revenge. And I don't know, is this a good thing or a bad thing? Um, this is, this is quite an animation right here. So I don't know, did the dragons coming back, is this good? Is this bad? I, I don't really know. I mean, fate wasn't all that good, but I mean, fate kept the world going thus far. Oh, by the way, Harl's the seventh dragon. Just putting that out there. I don't like this dragon. Look, look what this dragon does. So the green dragon is the only one to straight up bite them. Now. The rest of them just kind of get in line, and then they just join up, right?
Honestly, my only complaint about this entire game is when six dragons form together to make a bigger dragon, why do you gotta make it look so stupid? I'm just putting that out there. I feared it I feared it would come to this. I didn't want to have to fight with you if it could be have been avoided. Aduo Surge Adio. Aduo Adios. That's Spanish, I think. Whoa, there goes Harl into uh center of the machine. Oh. I don't really know what happened there. It was a little, it was a little confusing. Alright, we are back at the cruise ship. Cool. Give me a freaking break. You mean to tell me that to tell me we were being used all this time? Yep. The dragons have been using us. Kill fate, basically. What is done is done, although we may not like it. In our case, we need to make our way into the floating tower, the terror tower. Yes, we cannot just dwindle our thumbs and do nothing. Only problem is, so we have to find a way up there, right? It's not like the great SS Invincible can... Uh, there has to be a way. Mm, at least our objective is clear. I don't know how, but we must find... We must find the way. So, like, whatever happened to Kit after that? Doesn't look like she'll ever wake up. Indeed, she is resting at the Radius's place. Her spirit seems to be possessed by the past. A powerful item is necessary in order to dispel it. There is no reason staying here... Come on, mateys, let's shove off. Yes, I will find a way to wake up kid. Um, Did we get any new members? I don't think so. Okay, well, we're going to keep these members because, um, yeah, they're, they're fine for now. Though, I will warn you, if you guys have grown a strong attraction to Grobic, he's going to be gone pretty soon because I'm going to replace him with kid if I can get her back alive. All right, everybody, next stop, Hermit's Hideaway. I don't know if this is the right world, but it should be. And this next part of the game is going to be very... The ground here is hot. This next part of the game is going to be very, very interesting. You guys will see why. Uh, uh, this, is, uh, this could be technically considered a spoiler, but we're going to see a little bit into Kid's past. Kid is resting in the bed. She hasn't come out of her coma yet. What's up? Okay, guys, so to revive Kid, like I kept saying, we have to do the whole Karsh Dariel side quest. And I didn't even realize, but I basically didn't even start it. Uh, so we're going to have to do... Oh, and right there is Terra Tower. Uh, I don't know how much of it we're going to get done today. Um, but we could. let's try to get a bunch of it done. So... We have to go find Salt and Pepper in Viper Manor in this world. Yeah, let's go. So I think it's over here, right? I don't think we've ever been able to go over here. But I think now... I think now this is like part of the game where we do need to go over here. Oh, yes, it is. Okay. So we need to move all of these things to their positions. Right, so let's move. Oh, this is a little bit easier with an analog. I'll give it that. So that is the one good thing about having an analog now. Is these are a qu quite a bit easier to move. One more. Bam, there we go. And that should bring up a chest. And inside the chest should be nothing because we've fallen into a hole bam there's a letter inside so this is going to be a, a letter from salt and pepper there's a good reason why we barrel the con if you want to if you want it back come to the isle of the damned and bring sir karsh okay so now what we need to do is head over to uh the island of the damned with my boy karsh and uh yeah we'll get an item and with that item we'll be able to go to uh, Dario's place and fight him real quickly though. I want to see some other things So guys remember this neo thing that we had to get like a flower for Let's try it now So let's see what happens if we get I'm pretty sure we had what was it like the sparkle? Uh, what was it? What was it called again life sparkle? Yes, yeah, so if we give this thing a life sparkle it becomes a thing neo feel blossom 
Hi, I'm Neofio. You must be my master. Nice to meet you, bud. <laughs> bud, flower, bud, haha. <laughs> okay, there's a new party member. Neofio. Uh, let's see, is it any, is it any good? Uh, no, it's not good. So we're not gonna add it to the party. But that's fine. Take me with you. Okay, well, we did take you with you. Okay, so, bam. Uh, if you guys remember, like, a bunch of episodes ago, we went to the Hydra Marshes to get, like, a little flower. Well, that was to wake that thing up. Now, real quickly, we're also gonna visit Luca's, Lu Lucia's lab. Okay, so we're here in Lucia's lab. Let's talk to her. What is that you want? Would you like to join us? Sigh, without Pip, I really do not have any research here. I guess the time is right. I'm sure I could find some interesting research material if I tag along with you. I will join you. Ho, ho, ho. Bam. There's another party member. Look at that. So let's go ahead and confirm her. Now, she is pretty cool. Uh, once again, I um, don't think I'm going to add her to my party. Okay, where is she? I want to see her stats. Oh. Um, yeah. I don't think there's anything super special about her, but hey. Please call me anytime. I'll be waiting. Uh, but, bam, there is another member, just so we could say that we have her. Uh, but yeah, now, time to put Karsh on our team, and head over to the Isle of the Dam. Also, guys, you know what, real quick, we might as well check this out. Let's see if the whole Zappa thing, if we're even able to do that now. Um, a couple episodes ago, I tried this, and it just wouldn't work for me. I have no idea why. So, you know what? Might as well give it another try, I guess. Obviously, if it doesn't work, I'm probably just going to cut it out of the video. And I'm pretty sure uh, Zappa is already holding the Master Hammer, which we got, like, from Marble a couple things ago. So, let's see. So, yes, I think we're finally able to do it. You be me. I need your help. I want, I want to hammer this thing to make the, you know what? That thing you have, it's the rainbow. So ye know this ye be talking about is a rainbow axe that I knew I could count on myself. So shall we start hammering? It may be a wee bit hard by myself, but two of us working together should be a breeze. Sounds interesting. Good timing too, and just another finish. We'll see what we can do. Bam. So this couldn't be done earlier for some apparent reason. I might have needed to get past uh, either fate or the island. I'm not sure, but either way... Now we're able to get the rainbow axe done. So this is the rainbow axe. Hmm. Probably radiating such beautiful colors because of its primistic nature. The response from the hammer is as satisfying as its finish. It be truly an amazing material. We should be able we should be able to do this on our own next time. That sure was a brilliant job. I hope she can work with you again. Zappa learned how to forge the rainbow material. Okay, so now we're gonna be able to forge that um like rainbow material which in i think is the strongest material in the game to my knowledge and i don't really know what materials we need so i don't know if we can make them yet but we'll check all right guys so real quickly let's check out the smith spirit see what we can build so forge weapons now we got the prism stuff Oh, to get the prism stuff, we need a bunch of shiny stuff, man. Yeah, like the spectral swallow, we need shiny dew, shiny sand, shiny leaf. And rainbow shells? Dang. I mean, maybe, can we disassemble stuff? Uh, accessories, right? This stuff gives us a lot of shiny stuff, but I don't think what we need. So yeah, we, we won't be able to make it yet. Hey guys, I've put Karsh in the party. I've equipped him everything that he needs and his elements all I did basically was put heal all on him because he's gonna be mostly attacking anyway and the salt and pepper fight shouldn't be hard now when we do the second fight with Dario that's gonna be in my opinion the hardest fight in the entire game so that one with riddle because we'll have to bring riddle we will prepare for but for this fight Karsh with good equips and just some heals it'll be fine and this will be the last thing we'll do in this episode, guys. But, yeah, next time, we'll try to defeat Dario. I mean, if I 100% just can't do it, I guess we're not going to get Kid. Uh, but it's going to take a heck of a fight 
for me to let go of Kit. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Oh, no, 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 no. No, let's see. Okay, I found it. Haha. -ha. I at least I think so. Oh, come on, please. Analog, help me out here. So I think this is the right place. This should be. Um. Let's, let's just go up here. Where would they be at? I'm guessing the same place that we fought Garia? I mean, that would make sense. Yes, there they are. Alright, let's quickly beat the crap out of them. Sir Karsh, you actually shook it here. Do you, do you knowingly know why we are here? Heck no, what am I supposed to? Don't shake ignorance. We came to investigate what happened here. Sir, Karsh, we have stood by your side, unable to shake loose this one suspicion that we had. Suspicion. We believe you have killed... You may have killed Sir Dario. And by shaking it here, our suspicions have turned to conviction. Sir, Karsh, we are executing you for the murder of Sir Dario. Dario. Bro, all these kids are about to execute Karsh. Even He might have done it, but come on, bro. You really think you could take down Karsh? How was your training going, everyone? Miss Riddle. Brought something special for everyone today. Oh, really? What is it? What is it? Viper churros? Adds little Glenn in the background. Wrong answer, Glenn. Next. Are they really that good? Hmm, I can chomp down ten of those easily. Haha, you're always like that. Those churros were originally iron rations for knights. Over eating is not good discipline. So, Miss Riddle, what have you brought us? Please don't make us hold our breath too long. This is it. I found it in Fossil Valley. Isn't it pretty? Ah, shoot. It's just a flower. Miss Riddle, did you go to the valley all by yourself? But I'm not allowed to? It's just a valley. I'm sure it's safe enough. Eh, not really. I have enough for everyone. I will give some to you boys. Glenn doesn't want any, right? Since you're done, gone through the trouble of getting it, I'll take one too. If I plant it seeds, I might get some good fruit from it. Oh, how silly of you. So, yeah. um, Basically, what happened with like the whole... Garia radius thing is basically happening with um, Karsh and D Dario. Here you go, Glenn, but I don't think it will grow any fruit, though. Oh, did I unplug my controller? Dude, I think I just unplugged my controller. Hello? Okay, you don't know until you try. Oh, dude, why? She looks different. Karsh might not like things like flowers, but... No, it's not that. You brought me one, too. This is beautiful. What kind of flower could this be? It is a bell flower. Miss Turtle, if you ever wish for this flower, I will go for you instead. If anything should happen to you, then let us go together. Does that sound like a good idea? Yes, very well. Karsh is getting jealous. Ya boy, Karsh is jealous, man. Karsh, are you listening? Huh? Oh, sorry. What is it? What's with the formality? Um, how should I actually? I Why are you acting so strange? I'll tell you the truth. Karsh, we are pledged to marry. I have already told Daddy about it. That's what I wanted to tell you. Will you bless us with your approval, Karsh? Mary, so that's it. Well, congratulations. So when it's gonna be and where? We haven't decided on the date yet, but we still need to finish surveying the island of the damned. Why would you want to go there? It's just that. Just what? I want the wedding here. The place where we have cried together, laughed together, and shared our dreams together. You never changed, Dario. Then I'll have to fill this, fill this dull vacant lot with loads of bellflowers. Just tell me if I can help you in any way. Thank you, Karsh. But your boy Karsh is secretly heartbroken. Bam, throw that flower away. Feels bad, Karsh. You got friend zoned. Oh This is this must be it. Karsh, why are you in such a hurry? The enemy is not going anywhere, and the footing here is bad. Why do you always have to be like that, Dario? The mass immune may be in here. Any dragoon would be hyped to see that thing, you know. 
The Masa Mune once again strikes. Shaker Brothers, you stay here. Salt, pepper, sir, sir. Let's get going. Fine. So, you saw what the Masa Mune made Radius do to Garia? Now, with Karsh's jealousy, what do you think the Masa Mune is going to make him do? Is that the Masa Mune? Oh, he, he just got hit. Boom. Wait a minute. Maybe the Masa Mune's not even there. Maybe he just straight up hit him. Was I really just... Was I really just possessed by that devilish sword driven by such a hatred and envy maybe deep inside me i was filled with hatred daria the one whom i could never beat no matter how much i tried the one who stole riddle's heart from me but if that sword does not oh so okay the sword was there now i'm better into the but instead draws out the ink and ignites the flame of hatred hidden within the heart of men and if that hatred was something deeper within the wilder then what have i okay so yeah karsh obviously killed there or hit Dario and Glenn is just in the background you know Dario's little brother you know just chilling so you do know something about it take it easy why the hell do I have to fight you guys N no time for questions bro <sighs> salt and pepper man like you think it's a really good idea trying to execute like okay obviously Karsh is in the wrong I mean he murdered somebody but come on man why you gotta be going about this Oh, come on, why you gotta miss search? I mean, this is this should be an easy fight. Man, oh, he hits hard. Jeez, I'm pretty sure Karsh is the opposite color though. So, and these guys do not hit hard at all. This is actually just a little bit sad. I'm gonna try to get this fight like over as quick as possible, cause I'm pretty sure we're already like over time on the episode. Yeah, Salt's already like weak. Bam, there he goes. So go, let's go back to old Thick Boy over here. Get some good hits on Thick Boy. Hi, Rez. And I'm pretty sure we were supposed to do this fight like a long time ago. So that's also why we're defeating it like so stupidly quickly. Bam. My car should be able to finish him off. If he doesn't miss. Actually, you know what? Ah. I hate having to wait through this. Thunderstorm. This should hurt actually quite a bit. Not too much though, since his level is probably really low. Okay, so that, that hurt quite a bit. Let's just go to Surge. Let's finish this boy off. There we go. Easy fight. No problemo. Oh, I meant to heal by accident. Oh, well. I don't think there's a second fight, so we'll be fine. At least not a second fight right now. Karsh learned Axiomatic, so that's cool. Listen to me. I did not kill Gary. I know the time will come when I can speak the truth, but I can't just yet. I hope you understand, Sir Karsh. I have come to the understanding after that battle we just had. You are not an evil person. You would never kill your own best friend. Please forgive me. Looking back now, you were the one who took us under our wing, even though we were Dragoon outcasts. You were very special. You are very special to us. We believe in you, Sir Karsh. We must be on our way, but we hope to see you again sometime somewhere. When that time comes, we hope you will be readily, readily to tell us what really happened. And we're sorry we took this from you. We're shaking it back to you. So there is that little pendant. Thanks. One day I'll promise to tell you guys the truth. Take care. So Karsh did not kill Dario. Uh, stay assured, he did not. Because obviously we're gonna go see Dart. Wait, or maybe he did. I don't know. Either way, we got that pendant back, and with that pendant and Riddle in our party, we'll be able to go to the little, uh, this little island, and we'll be able to go do something and get something and then revive Kid. So that's gonna be really cool. But. For today's episode guys we're a little long on time uh so guys this is going to be the end of today's episode uh by next episode i'll make sure to get a uh, riddle kitted out already so we'll just jump right into the battle and it's gonna suck a little bit because i did not steal the black plate from the dragon which that's gonna make this fight a little bit harder but guys either way i'm sure next episode will be great so guys thanks for watching if you did enjoy make sure to like and a comment as it supports my channel and i will see you guys later God bless and goodbye.